What did he find? What did he find? Oh my gosh, it's a thrifty find. Welcome to another episode of Tom's Thrifty Finds. Today, we're talking lunchbox, specifically this sturdy metal beast in front of me. Beast Wars. Remember that show? There he is. He's just full of metal and he's doing a good job. So first off, lunchbox is as a kid, you know, it's a big deal. Big deal. You got a lunchbox. I mean, check out this little photo of me. It's my Mario lunchbox. I got a Max Headroom shirt on. I'm totally styling, ready for like first day back to school. It's just that's what a lunchbox is telling everybody. This is what I like. I like Mario Brothers a lot. Of course, lunchboxes still exist, just differently. They have like the fabric ones with the insulation and the zippers. They still make metal lunchboxes, but they're more for collectibles. And so let's get a look. This one is specifically made by Aladdin Industries in 1984. Let's get this uh, Secret Wars. I don't know too much about the Secret Wars. Got this uh, Joe Westfall's lunchbox. So I found this at a local thrift store called Better Bargains. Uh, whoop. Didn't come with the thermos and it's in pretty rough shape. Uh, you can see a lot of dings in it. But it's pretty cool nonetheless. I mean, Spider Man, Captain Man, Green Man, all three of them together. And the baddies on this side, Mr. Doom, Dr. Doom, Mr. Doom, Dr. Doom, Octopus, Doctors, lots of doctors. A lot of villains were doctors if you think about it, like what is up with that? Lots of doctors. Yeah, cool find, I thought I'd talk about Aladdin Industries. Aladdin Industries was founded in Chicago in 1908 by Victor S. Johnson Sr. and incorporated as the Mantle Lamp Company. Can you believe that? It was the first maker of the character Lunchbox, which was Hopalong Cassidy. So according to this History.com article, Hopalong Cassidy was made in 1950. They sold approximately 600,000 boxes in the first year, kicking off a cafeteria phenomenon. As a result, the boxes aren't exactly rare, though a mint condition example can sell for as much as $500. That's a quote from the article. And another interesting lunchbox, because this is about, it lists the nine most collectible school lunchboxes from 1935 to now. And the one that was worth the most was Superman. It was made in 1954, and a mint condition now could sell for almost $13,000. So going back to a little more history, in 1943, Victor S. Johnson Sr. died Rest and his son peace. Victor S. Johnson Jr. took over as a president of Aladdin Industries. And that's when they moved offices to Nashville, Tennessee. So 1968, Aladdin invented insulated thermal trays, which revolutionized meal distribution for airlines. Vroom! So you can imagine now you have food that can be warmed up and kept warm in these insulated trays. So that's nice, they made money. But unfortunately during this time, Aladdin suffered from mismanagement. Uh and high operation costs, forcing Aladdin to close their Nashville factory, producing its last thermal products in July 2002. Aww. But, a Seattle-based company named Pacific Market International purchased Aladdin, and now they make products up to this day. I mean, you've seen them probably in any type of department store, they have Aladdin products, and that's based out of um, their headquarters in Seattle. And they also have offices in Europe, Asia, and Australia. Ooh, pretty good. As far as pricing goes, I've seen, this is pretty bad, I mean, it's pretty beat up condition. I paid about eight bucks. I'm seeing on eBay, it's probably going for about 20 to $50. I see some newer ones trying to get into that $100 range. One that looks close to the same condition as this one, they're trying to sell for 25. I did see one live auction 
I'm not sure how much it ended up selling for, but it was active for like 28 bucks, I believe. And yeah, so I thought this was a cool piece to talk about and publish because given that Avengers is coming out, Endgame, Infinity War, Thanos, the other ones that went away, we will find the truth in all things. Thrifty, thrifty, time, thrifty finds. What will you find next? I don't know. Guess you'll just have to watch the next show. Tom's Thrifty Finds. Doo -doo. Yeah.